This is Seoul's number one shopping destination for tourists. Normally, the streets are packed with K-pop fans and bargain hunters from around the world. But nowadays, they're quieter than usual. It's true that the people roaming around Myeongdong has definitely declined and the number of international tourists who visit our centre has also decreased. But we hope the coronavirus problem will be resolved very soon. In a little over a week, South Korea has reported an exponential jump in infections. Those numbers are expected to continue to rise, and the virus is already damaging the economy. Uh, Chinese growth, at least in the first and second quarters, will be impacted in a large way. Uh, so some people are estimating that perhaps Korean growth will fall even below 1% range, uh, which would be disastrous uh, for the Korean economy. From tourism to semiconductors, the coronavirus is taking a toll on South Korean industries. New bookings at travel agencies and airlines have fallen at least 80%. Companies such as Samsung and Hyundai have had to suspend production at factories. They're not just trying to prevent infections, but they're also dealing with supply shortages from China. These empty shops show how the coronavirus has dealt a blow to tourism and consumer confidence in South Korea. Economists say it'll be difficult to make a speedy recovery because the virus has hit all areas of the economy. But the government is trying to prop it up having already expedited $17.6 million to contain the infection and support business owners. The government will gather bad national capabilities and win the fight against the virus. For the public staying at home for fear of catching the virus, they'll be wishing it Godspeed, so life and business can go back to normal. Joseph Kim, TRT World, Seoul.